Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop! Stop! Oh, get out of the car! Get out of the car! Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Oh my goodness. What the heck? It just rained yesterday. It rained yesterday. She's got. <laughs> wowzer. Wowzer, wowzer. And they pooed so much yesterday. What the heck? Forces? Oh, I love this. I love this view. I love just being here. I love this barn. Not the best barn. It's not my dream barn. But this barn is has just made me happy for the last three years. It's just made me like so grateful and so happy it's helped bring us and our horses together when we first got horses you guys know that like we were trained we were trained with horses to like be the boss and they never come into your space and they were we were trained to treat them like animals now, and in this barn we learned to love them now when willow comes in my space she spins yeah like i invite I the horses like to when she spins it's like she's gonna kick me but she keeps spinning so I'm like, ah, you're gonna kick me, and she just keeps spinning. Yeah, like there's so much we didn't know. We didn't know, like I didn't know that horses could approach you and and, we didn't know and it be like... about happiness and love and, and a relationship. Like how we were trained was so different than how we ended up. That's just crazy to me. I hate Willow's tail. Why? Because it's so terrible to watch. I love her tail. Penny needs a brush. I miss the horses going out. I should love to come down and watch the horses go out. Like, it's my favorite thing. It's muddy. It rained. Right, here comes the big boy. Go slow, Chino. <laughs> go slow in the mud. And he's gone. He looks good with those pads on though. Do you guys notice? Like, he looks good. Hey Gracie, you want to be friends? I need to pick her feet, I can tell. When I get back, Penny Pickle, I will pick your feet. We are headed to Walmart this morning. We have a bunch of stuff we have to get. Oh my God, oh my God, stop, stop! Oh, get out of the car, get out of the car, holy crap! Get out of the car, get out of the car! <laughs> oh my God, get out of the car! Get out of the car, what is wrong with you? Get out! <laughs> holy Sam got out. <laughs> So why didn't you guys get out of the car when I told you to get out of the car? Because you got out of the car and you started laughing. I started laughing. Ugh. But I know you guys were scared there for a second. And no, Sophie my ears when you yell. Sophie opened the door and then when she saw me laughing she closed it. Why'd you get out, Sam? <laughs> because I wanted to see you in the neck or <laughs> I've been dying to do that. What kind are they? I don't know if I want them. So oh my gosh, they're lovebirds. Look at how much they love each other. So we are at the pet store getting crickets for our bearded dragon. I know we love birds, but they're just not feasible for us. We have dogs who also. Oh, this one up there. Yeah. No, we're good, thanks. I like these. These are budgies, and actually they're so yeah, trainable. Oh, I love the white one with a little bit of blue. What one do you like? The white one is a little bit blue. Yeah. Well, Sylvia and I are so similar. I would these ones. Bigger the harder. The more work. I know. They're like in love with each other. I just love them. They're not actual lovebirds. They're just in love with each other. They're conures. They're just babies. Oh, and they're babies. Are they hand fed? Yeah. Are the budgies hand fed? No. They're really cute. So they're babies and they're hand raised. Are they a uh, pair? Sorry? Male, female? I'm not DNA tested, so I don't know. That one's more active. These are nice. I want a bird now. I want a bird too. 
I love the one behind there. It's adorable. That one? Yeah, what when you get two birds, it's so much easier because then they have each other. This, this one likes me. Pet stores are deadly for us. Oh, my sister bought a hedgehog yesterday. I bet you this is the hedgehog she bought. You are cute. Ginormous. That's an, that's an Oscar or a albino rainbow shark or a Pico. It's not a rainbow shark. I think it's an Oscar. Essentially, we should never come to a pet store. Oh, wow. Look at the minnows. Actually, we should get these for $4.99 a dozen because this is really fun for chickens. Like if you put a bunch of minnows in a bucket of water, they'll come and they'll eat them. Sophie, you want to do it? Yeah. Feed our chickens some fish? Sure. Yeah, like if you buy yes. these, put them in a bucket yes. and feed them to and the chickens. Yes, ones are left and I can keep. <laughs> oh, there will be none left. Do you guys think that's mean to do? Let's get them. All right, I think we're gonna do it because it's good for chickens. Can I choose? All right, Can go. I, choose a, I want the pink, pink ones. We're not picking them for, for. It seems mean, but we feed crickets, which are living, to our bearded dragon. I want that. Oh, that is beautiful. It's a tetra. Sophie's dream fish is the fancy goldfish. They're big, chubby things. So much better. Oh, that is adorable. That is adorable. He looks hungry. You know how you can tell when they're hungry? Or at least when our that's, bearded that's dragon gets hungry, she like really comes out and gets that's all. That's our next pet. But when she's all full, she's sleepy and tired. He probably thinks we're here to feed him. What is this? This is an Argentine tegu. Wow. Something python. Yeah, that is not I something that. I would ever want. No. But you're cute. These are babies. One thing we learned about bearded dragons is that having a baby is the hardest thing of life. But we made it through. We survived. Oh, we bought the fish. Sam's like, why would you feed fish to chickens? Everybody's going to be mad. But you guys, we bought feeder fish. And chickens eat fish. They eat bugs. They eat like so many like things. Fish. Like, I know it seems mean to feed animals to animals but it's the way the world works like even we eat animals sam like you eat animals dead yeah. animals well these are gonna be dead <laughs> you're at stop i forgot to never take sophie into the pet store because she always <laughs> convinces me to buy more stuff she's like look at this we almost bought a, 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 a bird. two birds yeah they're really cute but we want to move and we're trying to stay focused and our house is so small we don't have room for a bird so thankfully our bearded dragon we, we have her like on a newspaper ground or a paper towel ground and we feed her like we put new salad in every day and we put it on paper towel so that we can just pick up the the it dehydrates with all the heat in her tank so we pick up all the yucky stuff each day and then put new stuff down the reason we don't use subtrate and the reason we've never used subtrate is because it's very controversial like people who have always had bearded dragons are like it's fine that's what they need but then other people say like it can cause impaction it can like get on their food and then they accidentally eat it and it's kind of like sand colic with horses but bearded dragons are so much smaller and so I have never used it just because there's a slight risk of impaction and I don't want that to happen to her. But now that she's older, like a lot, because we got her as a baby and so that's how we've done it since she was a baby. I always had the intention of adding a subtrate at some point. A subtrate is just like the bottom of their tank, what they, what they have in there, what kind of like footing. So I always had the intention of using some subtrate when she was older and more practiced at picking up crickets and picking up food without them being in the sand like without getting too much sand in her in her mouth so today we bought subtrate i'm going to show you guys when we get home we're gonna clean out her tank she's ready for a clean tank we do it once a week and i bought a couple bags of this subtrate we've got the red color it's really cute all right so cut things to save my life so sophie is adding the subtrate we have vinyl on the bottom of her tank. You can see it right there. Yeah, it's old. I don't want to have the thing. 
So we bought 10, 20 pounds of substrate, which is like sand. And without the light, it kind of looks orange, Sophie says. But I like the terrible. color. I like it. It looks like the desert. Oh, no. Trixie's like, what are you doing to my house? So one thing about bearded dragons is that they like what they like. They like what they're used to. They're used to routine. And I don't know if that's true for all of them, but she's like that. She's like, wow, what's happening? So she's... <laughs> She is definitely like that and it'll take her a few days for her to like get used to any new setup. So another reason that I wanted to subtrate is because she's getting to the age where she's going to start laying eggs and they like to bury them. And I think she's going to like it. Could I put her in it? But yeah, actually this color kind of doesn't complement her, does it? Because it's the same color as her. Oh, this is all wet. It's okay. So we mostly just use this. We used to have a really fancy place with lots of plants and stuff, but the reason we switched that is because it's harder for her to find her food. And she still can find her food, but I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Like the crickets are so good. They climbed way up high on the plants and she couldn't even reach them. But there you have it. That is what she's gonna be like for days because we changed her sub trait. She'll be like- That color does not look good with her. I I don't know I like it she's like hidden <laughs> so I'll be able to see her we're I'll also be staring in there for five minutes I was like, mom Trixie's missing yeah so we're also gonna put in her salad and we're gonna continue to put it on like sometimes you use a dish I guess do we have another dish oh oh she she licked it don't lick it don't lick it that's bad um so you the reason she, where she's been walking yeah, so the reason that we're going to continue to put her salad Cricket on cat. paper towel is because you can just remove it Cricket often. Cat. Yeah, you can put the crickets in. I'm not opening it out here, guys. I'm not stupid. So we just put her crickets in. When she was a baby, we did it totally different. Yes, the, the tank is the same. I'm going to clean the tank. Yeah, it is really clean because when Brooklyn and Jade come over to take the glass... <laughs> Everybody touches the glass. Anyway, we throw her crickets in the tank and then we just let her have them and they last like a while. She, she catches them and hunts for them, but we also give her a salad every day. When we make her salad, we make sure it's really wet and then we're able to put like supplements on there. That's why she's in such good shape. She has, she's had like the right amount of vitamins and calcium and all the things that she's needed as she's grown. So we threw them all in there and she will eat these throughout the course of the next week or so. I did it, guys. We may have, oh, she did two for one there. You may have gotten too many. But see how good she's doing? Like, I was worried about her eating and so getting happy. sand, but she actually just licks the cricket and it picks it right up. Do you guys see that? And, ooh, that's disgusting. We can see her eating it in her mouth. Ew. Ew, you're gross. Wow, this is gonna be a graphic video. Here's her salad. So we alternate how we give her vitamins. So today is calcium, and then we have two different vitamins that we give her. So we do it on a three day rotation, and then we just mix it in. And then when she eats her greens, she gets it. If she doesn't get full on that. You oh, should put it on the side. There you go. And there we go. That is the color of the sand with the subtray. And we put way too many crickets in there. Usually we put like 12, but we just dumped the box in today. There's her salad. The crickets are eating her salad. There's a really, really, really cute one, Mom. Which is really good because then the crickets, when she eats the crickets, they'll have like all the vitamins from her food in them. Definitely never should have thrown all the crickets in there. We might have to dig them out. That's too many crickets. She's not used to that. All right, so next on our agenda today, Sophie's put the minnows in a glass bowl so we can go outside and feed the chickens. We only have 12 of them, which is more than the amount of chickens that we have. Fish, if you stay still, the chickens won't eat you. Yeah, so stay move. still. All right, dump a little bit of the water out because they won't be able to put their head under the water like that. Also picked up some snacks at the grocery store. I got these grapefruits, which are my favorite foods. And Gabby was craving onion chip dip with chips and I love the size of these like you never overeat junk when you pick the right kind of size 
And this is Sam's leftover birthday cake. Well, it did rain in the chicken coop. It rained yesterday. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we put the fishes down in the chicken coop. They don't and eat all the chickens are not coming. All right, you guys. Just gonna sit here and see if anybody comes. They're scared. They're actually scared. All right. Oh my gosh. This little rooster. Oh my gosh, I'm missing it. He just, he literally just walked over, stuck his head in the bowl and grabbed a fish. Like he didn't even. He had water. Oh, is there 12 fishes still? No, he was chewing it. No, there's 13. Did he get it? Did you get it? <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> no. He just thinks he's having water, maybe. Okay, honestly, how come? Like, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok taught us this. It was TikTok. I'm keeping them there. <laughs> it's not working out, you guys. Look, they're trying to jump out of the bowl now. I'll try one more time, okay? Okay. Yep. See, there you go. But I it's a sad day. Them. You're not keeping them because they will die without a proper tank. But they're all they're loving them now. now. Yeah, well, I know, but at least they're going to the greater good to feed our chickens. I like them. The chickens really like them now. Just took them a while to figure it out. We'll eat them by yourself, you chickens. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> Sophie wants them to only eat the ones that she doesn't want. <laughs> this was not a good experiment. I should have listened to myself. All right, you guys. Uh, Sophie has me down in the arena again. This is all we do in the spring and in the fall. Let's go work in the arena. But Sophie set up these poles to help her teach Willow to go to turn because Willow's just relearning. And somebody suggested, and somebody suggested that we teach Willow to pull a sled this winter. And you guys know that is like one of my dreams. It's been on my list for like three years. This is the year that we are going to have people here for Christmas dinner and Willow is going to pull them on a sled. Um, we might not be ready. Oh, you'll be ready by Christmas. So I'm going to end the video here with the birds singing in the background. And um, I'm going to show you guys a clip of Gabby riding Chino. I told you guys yesterday that we're gonna try riding him without a bit and see if it makes a big difference. He's always mouthing the bit. He's always stressed about the bit. And because he's a show horse, we have to use a bit on him. But last night, we just yesterday we decided that we're gonna see how he does without a bit and see if that's what he prefers. And he can ride like that throughout the year until show season starts again. And the trainer gave us a, a a hackamore to use but in the past we've never used a hackamore we've always used a side pull why doesn't she try a side pull yeah we have a side pull and we have rope halters and we like those um but then so when i came home last night i looked into it and just to make sure that a hackamore is safe and it's definitely not something that we want to use on chino i think it could make more of a problem because it's it can be sometimes hackamores can be even more harsh so we're going to stick to our trusted rope halters and our trusted side pulls which we've used in the past on our channel and we're going to skip the whole hackamore thing don't forget to comment below if you think chino goes better in a bit or better in bitless
Don't you know that you're beautiful?